Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with another two week grocery haul. You, lately I've been going to Walmart, Kroger, and Aldi this week. We did not do Walmart because Andy has been off all week and I just didn't feel like doing three stores while he was off. And um, my stepdad was also off this week. So him and Lily went and did his Walmart pickup or Walmart grocery store trip today on Friday, October 26th. So while she was with him, because they usually go on Saturdays, me and Andy and Elijah went to Aldi and Kroger like I usually do on Fridays. So this is everything from Aldi. At Aldi, I spent $42.18. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything, and then I'll show you the meal plan at the end. So we got our milk. It's $1.65 a gallon. That's why I always get there. I uh, picked up some wine because I always want it when I don't pick it up. So I went ahead and picked up two. Those are $2.89 each, and it's the Winking Owl Moscato. Baked beans are $1.39. Picked up some crackers. These were like $1.39 as well. The marinara sauce is $0.89 cents each. They changed these. They used to be in a glass bottle. $0.49 cents for cream of chicken. Got three for some recipes. $1.79 for the red pepper hummus. That's the one Andy prefers, so I picked it up for him for his lunches. Ibuprofen was $1.95. $0.29 cents each for some taco seasoning. $2.56 for some butter. $0.89 cents for the ranch dressing. $2.79 for some string cheese. $2.49 for olive oil. $1.89 for some bagels. $1.69 for Italian bread. I'm going to have this with our soup for dinner tonight. Celery was $1.19. The tortillas are $0.99. Cents. The tortilla chips are $0.89. Cents. $1.89 for the undivine tomatoes. These are the best tomatoes like you can get at Aldi or Kroger. I feel like they last. They don't go bad really fast. And then we got some avocados. They were on sale for $0.49 cents each. So that is $42.18 from Aldi. I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'll get the Kroger stuff. Okay, here is everything from Kroger. <coughs> you might hear Elijah coughing in the background. He has a cough and a stuffy nose. But for all of this at Kroger, I spent $123.98. So let's, let me show you what we got. This was $7.49 for this Charmin. It's what, nine rolls. So we got that. We are trying these paper towels, the Orchids <laughs> Trends. These were $2.49. $3.49 for the Purex that we always get. $5.99 for Elijah's pull up. He's got two packs. The Puffs tissues for him are $1.99. The Progresso was on sale for, if you bought eight of them, they were $0.99 cents each. So we got three hearty tomato, a beef pot roast, chicken rotini. <laughs> Creamy roasted chicken with herb dumplings, French onion, and chicken and wild rice. Then we got some diced tomatoes. These were like 45 cents each. Tomato sauce was a dollar. The eggs, I think were like 178 each for the 18 count. 269 for the Ortega taco sauce that I use for dressing for my taco salads. We got an onion. 99 cents for a bag of carrots. The apple juice was $2.69, but I had a digital coupon for $0.50 cents off, so it's like $2.19. The Great Northern Beans and Kidney Beans and Black Beans were all $0.59 cents each. The four-count big pack of green beans was $1.99, so it's like $0.50 cents a can. And then Andy saw this. It's the Chef Boyardee Throwback Recipe Premium Beefaroni Pasta and Tomato and Meat <coughs> Sauce. It says more meat, more cheese, more goodness than regular Chef Boyardee. So he wants to do like a taste test comparing this one to this one. And this one was $1.59 and this one was a dollar. So we will probably record that at some point and you will compare if the throwback recipe is actually better. Then we got some, I think this is Ditalini pasta. I don't know. I, I could be saying that wrong, but that's for our soup tonight. We got some of our favorite Uncle Ben Spanish style rice. That's $2.99. This, I believe, was $1.59. $2.39 for some manicotti, some American cheese. These were $1.59 each. It was cheaper to buy the two small packs. $2.49 for the block of sharp cheddar. $3.49 for the smoked ham. 
Aju was 50 cents. These are $2.49 as well. Colby Jack, Mexican style cheese. $2.19 for some Peter Pan peanut butter. This was free about a month back. It was like National Guacamole Day. And Holy Guacamole was giving away free Mommy. coupons. Shh. I got my coupon in the mail, so we picked this one up. This is the one that Elijah does like, the mild one. Lily likes the medium one, but she'll eat the mild too. So we picked up that one. 79 cents for each can of tuna. We picked up some of these pizzas. The pepperoni ones are for the kids, and the three meat ones are for Andy. And then this was one of the Friday, Saturday only deals. The Red Baron pizzas for $1.99. So we just picked up one. Don't really need it, but we'll probably eat it for like lunch one day. The Pillsbury biscuits were on sale. Buy one, get one free. So those ended up being 89 cents each. We are having Elijah's birthday party in two weeks, and we're gonna, it's like a hot dog bar because it's Mickey Mouse themed, so hot diggity dog. So it's a hot diggity dog bar. So we went ahead and picked up the hot dogs that were on sale as part of the Friday sale. The beef ones ended up being $1.99 a pack. And then we also picked up the regular, not all beef ones. They were buy one, get one free, so they were $1.50 a pack. And then we got some crispy crowns. These were buy one, get one free, so they were $1.50. The crispy chicken strips were on sale for $4.99, and then they sent me a coupon in the mail for a dollar off, so $3.99. $1.99 for some cottage cheese, and the chicken breasts were $1.99 a pound, so $10.79 for that pack. And that is everything from Kroger. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the meal plan. This is for Friday, October 26th through through Thursday, November 8th. So we've got pasta. Um, no, I probably say this wrong. I've looked about how to say it, but they're all different. So pasta, fagioli, soup Sorry. with bread, like the Olive Garden recipe. Olive water. Okay, give me just a second. So we're trying that. And then Saturday night, we're actually going to dinner at Olive Garden for a late birthday dinner with Andy's dad. Crock pot, pork, carnitas, tacos uh, with rice and beans. And then meatloaf, mashed potatoes with green beans. Baked sweet and sour chicken with rice. Grilled cheese and tomato soup on Halloween because that'll be like an easy dinner. Then we're having chicken and dumplings left overnight. We're going to a birthday party and it's at Chick-fil-A, so we'll eat dinner there. Crock-Pot cube steak with mashed potatoes. Another left overnight. Beef tacos with rice and beans. Crock-Pot manicotti and salad. Burgers and tots. And that will be our meal plan. <coughs> if you guys are interested in seeing any of the recipes, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to link them. I will insert the total that I spent this week right here. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!